We didn't win nine straight tournaments by following the rules, and many rules are yet to be broken. Welcome back, fighters. Are you ready for new tournaments? Then better prepare, as Mortal Kombat is getting a sequel. Sooner than we thought, New Line is ready to get back into the arena, and Simon McQuite is set to return as director. Can you believe that? Stay with me until the end, as I have some really great news to share with you. Now, let's jump in with a short recap. Back in 1992, when it was created by Midway Games, Mortal Kombat was an extremely popular video game. Hollywood adapted the franchise into a series of movies in the late 90s. Mortal Kombat got its first movie in 1995, and the sequel was made and released just two years after. Mortal Kombat Annihilation was released in 1997. The first movie set very high standards, while the second movie made studio executives decide not to continue with this project. Despite the fact that the movie makers decided not to proceed, the audience had a different opinion. This led to a reboot of the original Mortal Kombat movie, and it wasn't a surprise that the movie gained that much success. As a matter of fact, this movie was so successful that New Line Cinema executives almost immediately gave a green light for a sequel. Mortal Kombat 2 is currently in production, and it will be everything that fans wanted from past movies. It's been almost 30 years since the first movie, but it's fair to say that Mortal Kombat changed the fighting game landscape forever. The 2021 movie starts off by putting its best foot forward. Opening in the 17th century, McCoy is trying to establish why Scorpion, or Hanzo Hasashi, if you wish, is out for revenge against Bai Han. Full of fury as well as beauty, there is more emotional weight in this part than in every other scene in the movie. Earth Realm fighters Jax and Sonya Blade recruited Cole Young for the upcoming Mortal Kombat tournament. Anyway, in short, what's the deal with this Mortal Kombat world? The world is divided into two realms, or two different dimensions. The Outworld is the home of Shang Tsung and his boss, the conquering emperor Shao Kahn. And the Earth Realm is the home of our fighters. We actually say Earth Realm, a term that is most commonly used for what people normally call Earth a rocky planet orbiting the sun. We get it. Earth Realm is the place where White Lotus is hitting that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No, really. Earth Realm is the place where White Lotus society protects us from possible invaders. Our town world. There are some minor realms as well, such as Nether Realm, an underworld of Mortal Kombat, and home of demons, specters, and elder god Shinnok, and of course, Adenia which used to be an idyllic and magical realm, and was under the control of King Jared and Queen Sindel. The realms are under the control of the Elder Gods, whose work is to keep balance and order. The Mortal Kombat, or the Interdimensional Fight Club, will be set up to prevent the Outworld from becoming too powerful. And this Fight Club has many very strict rules. If you want to invade another realm and take it over, you have to win 10 Mortal Kombats in a row. This is the first and the most important rule. McCoy didn't forget that the fights are the film's main attraction. So even though up to this point we don't actually get to the tournament, the generous action is mostly satisfying. At times, it suffers from over-editing, but all the actors are doing the vast majority of their own stunts. And yes, when the fatalities are there, they are bloody and brutal. But let's stop here. We'll give you a chance to re-watch it once again and prepare for what is coming up next. Now, let's talk about the potential release date. Okay, it is official that Warner Bros. Reboot is officially getting a sequel. In fact, New Line and Warner Bros. have already taken the first steps, and they hired Jeremy Slater the Umbrella Academy's writer, to pin the Mortal Kombat 2 script. The reboot's core cast and Mortal Kombat 2021 director, Simon McCoy, still need to agree to terms of their own to return. But there is a green light, and that's what's important. It took decades to get Mortal Kombat back on the screen, but it's unlikely that a sequel will take that long. A reasonable turnover of a couple of years wouldn't be unexpected, if the production of the original is anything to go by even allowing for a lengthier post-production period. Having said that, 2023 wouldn't be out of the question. According to some statements, multiple Mortal Kombat follow-up movies are in development, even spin-offs and sequels to sit alongside the confirmed second movie. It is said that Warner Bros. will make Mortal Kombat 2's production a top priority. Now, let's talk about the cast. 
Noob Saibo is the first character confirmed for the movie. Joe Taslam, who had the role of Sub-Zero in 2021, will return back for the same role in the sequel. After being defeated by Scorpion, Sub-Zero transformed into the deadly shadow Noob Saibot. It's important to mention for those unfamiliar with the video game canon, he is the epitome of evil in the game series, so it is a delight that he will return played by the same actor. And the transformation from Ice Ninja into Evil Shadow will be something that fans don't want to miss. The arrogant fighting champion Johnny Cage was not in the first movie, but talking to Comic Book in his most recent interview, Jeremy Slater said, Johnny Cage is one of my favorite characters, and I think there's definitely a promise with the way the first movie ends of seeing Cole being like, okay, my next stop is to go recruit Johnny. So I think if he wasn't included in the sequel at all, it would feel very strange. The offspring of Scorpion, Cole Young, will return for sure. So yes, Louis Tan is back again. It has been confirmed that Jessica McNamee is coming back as Sonya Blade, Mikat Brooks as Major Jackson, Jax Briggs, and Chin Han as Shang Tsung. Anyhow, I expect to see many new members in the Mortal Kombat 2 cast list. Do you know why? Because it has been confirmed that the characters like Nightwolf, Shiva, Shinnok, and Katal Khan will find their place in the movie. After the first movie's finale, there was a perfect setup for Shiva to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, there is a perfect setup for Shiva to appear in the sequel. I'm telling you, this movie will be a game changer. Also, fans have been posting on social media trying to cast an actor since Johnny Cage's name has been confirmed. The Miz of WWE fame is one of the mentioned names. Talking to Comic Book, the wrestler said, I have been working on my splits. I've been working on my kicks. As soon as I saw that Mortal Kombat was out and there was no Johnny Cage yet and that my name was literally trending worldwide number one. There is, however, one more name related to the new character, Kodo Khan. Many fans recognized Kodo Khan in the person of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's hard to confirm all this information since most of these actors have very tight schedules. Now, about the story. What will happen in Mortal Kombat 2? The end of the first movie sets up further invasions by Shang Tsung. He would probably try to prevent a fair Mortal Kombat tournament from happening. He would definitely use his outworld allies. Having said all this, beginning with series favorite Johnny Cage, Cole Young, and his fellow Alive Earth Realm champions will be sent to round up more champions. On the other hand, Shang Tsung will probably retire to his own realm and will try to revive his most feared warrior, Sub-Zero, while he is healing his wounds and bolstering his own team. Mortal Kombat Tournament will be shown in a Mortal Kombat 2 movie, and that is confirmed, which is surely pleasing lots of fans who were left bemused by its absence. See you in the next video.